Guys, check this out. I'm doing spring cleaning today and it's snowing. What? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today we are going to do my spring cleaning. Although it is low-key snowing outside, we are going to do spring cleaning. The reason why I want to do this now is actually because I will be leaving on a bigger trip during March and I hate being out and coming back home to just a wreck of an apartment. I like everything to be clean when I'm going on a trip. That's just what we do. So I am super excited to do my spring cleaning today. I've actually been putting it off for a couple of weeks. I'm super embarrassed, so you're about to see a real dirty apartment. But hopefully it's going to be kind of satisfying. That's what I'm hoping. But before we get started, this video has a cleaning related sponsor. Yeah! This video is sponsored by True Earth and True Earth is a new type of laundry detergent that is practically zero waste. I'm super stoked about it. This is one of the first times I've been trying it. I have tried it, of course, testing it out a little bit before promoting it to you guys, I mean, obviously. But it, it's a form of laundry detergent that I am not used to at all. It comes in a sheet form. Hmm. Um, it comes in these cardboard packages. I got one with perfume and one without, which is nice. And I have been holding this one upside down. <laughs> I will just open one up for you so you can see. True Earth makes sheet based detergents that look like this. This is two washes, then you simply part it down the middle. You throw this into the machine and this is the laundry detergent. This, boys and girls, is the laundry detergent and I am super, super stoked about this. These dissolve completely and they also completely compostable. I actually tested this out in my kitchen in a bowl just to see how much does it dissolve. Are there any small microfibers left? Whatever. Um, completely dissolves. Becomes soap. That should be the slogan. True Earth. Becomes soap. So we have some vacuuming, some uh, mopping, some dusting, some laundrying. Let's go ahead and do this now. I feel like the first thing that has to happen is that I have to clean my kitchen. So let's do that. First, made a lot of smoothies this morning, so I am saving the rest for ice cream pops. And uh, this just goes in my freezer. Bam, 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 making ice cream pops. Here are some of the stuff I use to clean my dishes. We have a couple of different things. I have my dish brush. It looks like this. You can actually get these in a lot of different, especially Danish grocery stores I see at the moment. Um, so they can be found different places, but I will also leave a link to one down below if you cannot find one in a physical store. Then I have this. This I use to clean my stainless steel and glass straws. It's made from cotton. I love that. Then I have my liquid dish soap. It comes in a glass bottle with a pump that I attached myself. I got this in a secondhand shop. This pump fits perfectly. It's beyond. And then I have a dish soap that is solid. So depending on which one I have available to me, I use both ones. Um, this one is about to run out and then I will switch over to this one. So I have a couple of different options for dishes. So we are going to do the dishes now, yeah. I think it will be easier if I just do one room at a time. So now we're going to do everything else in the kitchen. And with the kitchen also comes the bath stuff because here is my shower. So I'm taking my homemade cleaning agent with vinegar and orange peels. I have a recipe for it as well. Somewhere I will leave it down below. And uh, we're going to take this and pour a good, good amount of it into the bowl. And we're gonna take some water. That's the sound. And then we're going to do a little bit of the dish soap as well. Give it another good bam. Also check this out. We will just continue spring cleaning like nothing is happening. It's fine. 
For cleaning surfaces, I either use a knitted cloth or I use one of these, which also looks like a knitted cloth, but it's a lot rougher. So it, uh, it's a little bit more efficient against something that's really hard to get off. But these are the two things that I use. They are made of 100% cotton, both of them. Time to clean the shower. What I'm specifically referring to is this soap residue that keeps coming back. This is super disgusting. So we are going to take some baking soda and some apple cider vinegar and we are going to use this as a scrubber. This is my little scrubber for today. This is the most rough thing that I own. It's rather rather rough. It is from Maystick as well and uh, yeah, we are going to... I'll just show you. So we'll pour some baking soda on the stain everywhere. Cool. Then we take the apple cider vinegar I will let this sit for a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, I'll boil some water for the drain. Definitely an improvement. You can still see a little bit, it's super hard to get off, but I would definitely say that this is better than before. <laughs> the fridge. I have a couple of things in here and I really want to get everything nice and in order. So uh, let's start by taking everything out and putting everything back in. That's what she said. We are gonna clean the interior of the fridge as well as my veg compartment and then we're gonna put everything back in. New fridge hoodies. Some of this stuff in here is dumpster dived and some of this stuff is from my farmer's market and some of my things in here are homemade. Um, but there were a couple of jars with stuff that had gone really bad that I've forgotten completely about. It happens <laughs> to everyone, stuff that has been in here or something. And then I also took out my lunch right there. Um, and I think I sorted everything. Um, I got this recently in the thrift shop that is, this is absolutely perfect. It's a glass container, but I can store small uh, pieces of veg that I don't know what to do with. So they're not lying loosely around. Uh, tons of yeast that I dumpster dived and bam here's some of the jars from the things that went bad um, so yeah and I'm gonna clean these jars and put them back in my cabinet and I had my spring onion cut a bit and then I put it in water last time I did this it was really really successful they grew twice their own size almost so they're just gonna stand here in my windowsill and I'll see what happens then so the vacuum cleaner I am using is a secondhand bad boy that I found just when I moved into this apartment and it's one of those bagless ones and it's actually pretty clever. You can take this off and then you have a tiny little pssss. that's pretty clever and then you take this off and there's a bag inside here and you empty it into your compost or into your bin or what you have available. Um, so that is how I clean my apartment, how I vacuum my apartment, secondhand vacuum without a bag that minimizes waste and uh, it also minimizes e-waste that I got a secondhand. So that is my attitude towards things. Oh, 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 oh. If I have to clean small messes that does not necessarily require a vacuum, I have this set. This is also secondhand, this is made from metal and and this is made from wood and I do believe some kind of animal based bristle fiber um, but again second hand So we are done here in the kitchen and we are going to go into 
the bedroom now. The first thing I want to do in here is that I want to dust. And for that purpose, I have one of these Dusters is like an old school one, this is not vegan, um, but I got this before going vegan and I'm not gonna throw it away. So we're going to use this and uh, we're going to dust everything off. I have my mirror laid out here because this is easier. Now we're gonna go over the mirror and the windowsill with a cloth and some of our soap water. And uh, then we only need to do the vacuuming in here. Before vacuuming, I'm going to remove as many things from the floor as possible, um, just simply to make it easy and to make it more thorough. So we're going to see how much stuff I can put on the bed. Half a sheet goes in it's not working smile and it just dissolves you can just you can oh. you can see it dissolve but that's actually kind of cool now let's get started on the restroom there isn't a lot to go over in here i have to clean my toilet obviously and the sink needs something and then i'm just gonna scrub the floors real quick but otherwise there isn't really anything in here i want done yeah because it isn't a very big room i actually think i want to empty this and then clean the cup because that's something that gets really nasty oh yeah ew that's gross so we're going to do that as well then but uh just gonna scrub this real quick and for that we're going to use the same things as before okay. clean you cannot see a difference, but this is definitely better. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there was a bathroom. Done! What I really want to do in the living room is that I want to clean the windowsill and just rearrange my plants. And then I want to vacuum. Who am I kidding? I also want to dust everything. Ba -da 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 -da. I just cut tons of dry leaves and flowers off my plants simply so they won't die off completely trying to revive these things. Um, also, it makes them look way nicer that there isn't any of this lying around. So this is going in compost now. Here's my little compost. Um, I have a starch bag in there as well from my vitamin gummies and let's see if my compost can manage that, but I'm just gonna find a stick and then swirl everything around. Done! I am done, but before I head out, I thought it could be fun to show you the amount of dust that I vacuumed. Um, why? Is that thing satisfying? I think it's satisfying to empty my vacuum and see how much shit was everywhere. So, um, we're gonna do that. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. So all of this was vacuumed today. I'm glad to have this out of my apartment now, let me tell you right now. That was it for my spring cleaning. It also stopped snowing. So, I mean, on the theme. Thank you once again to True Earth for sponsoring this video. I'm so glad that you did. Thank you once again and feel free to check them out down below. Can you hear all these crows? And also remember to comment and subscribe and like and do your thing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take really good care of yourselves. Until then, bye! Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys helped me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!